So here we have the Mazda CX-5 on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boots and then we'll hop in and run through some controls. As you'll see, we have plenty of boot space along with the three individually folding rear seats should you wish to increase this space even further. We then have a little bit more storage underneath this tray section as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter on the left, the speedometer in the middle, and on the right-hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control, as you can see just there. And you can set it using the buttons on the end of the uh, steering wheel just here. Over on the right-hand side, you'll also see uh, with the fuel gauge, the total miles for this car, which are 22,683. Uh, if we work our way over into the center, we have the main screen for the car. All of the movements I'm making on the screen are all being done using this dial. You can use the buttons that surround it as well. So you've got your home button, you can access satellite navigation from here. Otherwise, everything you can do from here. So for example, if I push the button down while highlighting satellite navigation, we enter the satellite navigation menu, or in this case, the map. We've done a video showing how this works that you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, but really nice, clear, easy system to use. Uh, you can pair your phone under that communication heading. We then have entertainment just here. So this is where you can access uh, your radio, of course. Uh, every single thing that you turn it to, it will highlight and let you know what it is you are looking at. Uh, so you can skip radio stations, for example, from there. Uh, you can uh, also listen to your own music, should you wish to. You'll see we have FM, AM, and DAB radio. Various ways to listen to music, including Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. And we have USB inputs beneath that as well. So plug devices into those, and they will appear up there as further options for you. Working our way down, we have heated passenger seat with three different heat settings and the same on the driver's side and a heated steering wheel as well, which is a really lovely extra to have. We then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures independently. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car. When you're happy with all of those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on, turns it to eco, or turns it off again, or just hit off to turn off the entire system. What you can do when the air conditioning is on there is hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the direction of the air and the fan speed, which you can hear it doing. You can override that whenever you wish to, to put it back into a manual setting again. We have a 12 volt charging socket underneath that, a six speed manual gearbox, the buttons that I went through just a moment ago, along with an electronic handbrake that has an auto hold function as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.